Hi Cal Poly, it's Kelsey here today in my kitchen to show you some of my favorite produce staples. Hopefully this helps make grocery shopping a little easier for you all and gives you some ideas of healthy ingredients to keep around the house to throw together some quick and nutritious meals and snacks. Looking at some of my favorite produce that I keep in the fridge but still has kind of a longer shelf life, carrots and celery are my go-tos. I like to snack on these with like hummus or peanut butter. You can cut them up and put them in a stir fry. You can put them in a soup. A quick little tip about celery, if it starts to wilt, you can always put it in a glass of water and this will often help bring it right back to life. And then I love to keep leafy greens in my fridge. This one is kale. Kale is definitely a firmer lettuce, so it will last a little bit longer than something like spinach. Arugula is another one of those kind of firmer uh, lettuces. And you know, if spinach is what you like, that's totally fine. Just know it won't last as long. But before it goes bad, you can always freeze it. You can put it in smoothies and put it in other dishes. With fruit, bananas and apples are some of my favorite. Apples, I tend to keep in the fridge, but you can also keep on the counter. They just won't last as long. And then bananas are great to add to oatmeal, yogurt, eat them as a snack. When they start to get brown like this, I never throw them away. I like to bake with these. They add a really nice natural sweetener to baked goods. And if you don't have time to bake and they're going kind of brown, you can always peel them and freeze them. And then you can use them in smoothies. You can add them again to any breakfast item. They make for a really sweet dessert. So try never to throw away your bananas. We wanna to try to reduce food waste as much as possible. I always have onions and garlic. I add these to most of my dishes. Just adds a lot of flavor, so these are good to have around. I always have lemon. I like to make salad dressings with lemon. If I ever make homemade pasta sauce or soup, um, I always add some lemon juice. Again, it just gives a really nice flavor. Sweet potatoes or normal potatoes are good to have around the house because they last a really long time. They're very nutrient dense and you can do a whole lot with them. So sometimes I'll roast them. You could bake them, you can mash them. Avocados, of course, I love to eat these for breakfast. I like to throw them in salads. They're great, healthy fat, very nutritious. This one's getting a little soft, so I'm probably gonna move it to the fridge soon, but they last a very long time if you keep them in the fridge. But if you wanna get them ripe, you can leave them out on the counter. Sometimes I'll buy spaghetti squash, so I've had this one for about two weeks. And this is really great if you've never had it before. It makes for a really great alternative to normal pasta noodles. So basically you just cut it in half and roast it. And then when it's ready, you take two forks and you kind of scrape the insides and it forms a nice noodle. And then here I have a butternut squash. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I've had this for a few weeks as well and it's still looking pretty fresh. You could make butternut squash sauce, like a pasta sauce or a pizza sauce, or you could make a soup with this. You could roast it, mash it, do all sorts of things. Enjoy.